I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions on evaluating rational expression. If x over y equals to 2 over 3, find the value of y over x. Well, that's simple. y over x is the reciprocal of x over y and therefore it should be equal to 3 over 2, right? That's simple. That is how we can get it. Okay, how about y plus x divided by x? Hmm, that's tricky. How to get the value of y plus x divided by x? Hmm. Let's think about it. Well, we can write this as y over x plus x over x. Now I think it's easy. y over x is 3 over 2. So we get 3 over 2 plus x over x is 1. So it is 3 over 2 plus 1. Let's add them. So to add them, we can write this as 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is also 1, right? Equal in fraction. So that gives us the answer 5 over 2, right? We could have written 1, 3 over 2, of which we can now write 2, 1 over 2, as a mixed number, correct? So either way, that is how we can do it. Now, there is an interesting question. It is x plus y divided by x minus y. How can you evaluate the value of x plus y divided by x minus y? Think about it. Hmm. So what we can do here is we can divide both numerator and denominator by let us say y. Then what do we get? So we are trying to divide both numerator and denominator by y. So if I do that, I get x over y plus y over y divided by x over y minus y over y. Correct? Yes. x over y is known to us 2 over 3. So we can write this as 2 over 3 plus y over y is number 1. x over y is 2 over 3. Correct? Minus 1. Now it becomes simpler. So we can take 3 as a common denominator. So we get 3 as a common denominator. We get 2 plus 3 in the numerator divided by 2 minus 3 over 3. Correct? So that is 5 over 3 divided by 2 minus 3 is minus 1 over 3. And that gives you the answer which is minus 5. How do you get minus 5? It's like 5 over 3 divided by minus 1 over 3, same as multiplied by minus 3 over 1, right? So 3 and 3 cancel and you get minus 5. So that is how you can solve it. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.